Hi everyone, welcome back to Mind Desk. Today we're going to go over an existing case study for an outdoor event. So with a grasshopper that's programmed to pick up points and curves, I'm going to be able to create a series of tent layouts as well as seating layouts. So starting with this point I have over here as my base, I'm going to go ahead and create four of these tents just by arraying these points roughly four yards apart. And again, I'm speeding up the film here. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, except this time I'm gonna array them at five yards apart, assuming they have a different program and size requirement. Next, I wanna make a polyline, and because the grasshopper is programmed to create a chair every 24 inches, I have 14 along the first row. So again, grabbing array, I'm going to array five more of these lines. And you'll notice after I create these at the top left, you'll see that I have seven chairs overall. I can scale the front row slightly and you'll see the updated number on the bottom left to 55. But let's go ahead and undo that and keep it even for now. Next I want to copy this whole section over to the right here and I'm aiming for something more like 100 chairs so I'm going to scale back the left side which will also scale the right because I have my history command turned on and there we go getting 100 chairs and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Lastly I want to create a full back row from one edge to the other. I'm going to make sure my smart track is on and line up from the left edge to the right edge. And using array one more time, I'm gonna create four additional back rows that will give me an overall count of what I'm looking for. So I'm just gonna scope around to see how it's looking from the left and the right and from the back. I'm gonna make a quick little stage here and shift it into place, put a little backdrop on it here. And I'm going to start looking at the space from all different angles. So from the entry of the stairs down here, from the back, to maybe inside the building of this window, and that window. Thanks everyone, and stay tuned for more Mind Desk case studies coming your way.